Hi, welcome to my channel. Today we will talk about the uses of case when and if statement in real life examples. Before we start, please support my channel by subscribing to it and check my previous videos. Over here I have a view that presents the customer ID, name, city, and province or state. I have a requirement from my customer to decide the cost of freight based on the uh, the state where the customer is in. So I'm going to start by using the case when and then I'll show you how to use the IIF as well. Okay, so let's take a next line and then we're going to write case when. So my customer want to ship to Colorado for $14. So I'll state my state, province name equals to Colorado, then 14.99. Then I'll take a copy of my when, and then I'll take another one. We'll just indent it a little bit so it can be more. And then he wants to. Uh, Ship to Alabama for $15. And I'm going to take a copy of my when statement and then say when a state is in North Carolina or Texas, then it is for thirteen ninety nine. Else, any other state, it will cost twenty dollars, and then I'm going to end my statement. Okay, and then I'm going to give my column a name, and I'm going to name it as shipping cost. Now let's run the statement. So you can see over here when it was Colorado, it is $14.99. Louisiana is $20, but it does not exist over here. Oklahoma is $20 as well. North Carolina is $13. So that's how we write the case statement. So you just type case and then you start typing your conditions. And then finally the condition that does not meet any of the above conditions. Please be aware that once you hit the first condition on the row, it exits the whole case statement. Meaning that if I have over here another case at the bottom over here, where Colorado is equal to, uh, or the state is equal to Colorado, it is equal to uh, $21 for instance, and then I will run this statement, you're going to always find Colorado is equal to $14.99. So once it hit Colorado one time, it's never going to go to this uh, statement again. So be wise while you're uh, writing your case statement. Be thoughtful about it and then make sure that you uh, order your cases in the right way. Okay, so let's see now how we can uh, use the IIF. And so let's say that we want to find the total sales of each customer this year versus the last year. So select asterisk from invoice. I'll give it a short name I, and then I'll say I dot customer ID, and then I the sum of invoice total then I will group by by customer ID I need the sum of this year versus the last year so I will repeat this column twice I will call this this year And then I will call this last year.
Okay, so how can we, if I run the statement, of course, if the both of them are going to have the same value, but I want to have this as a different value. Okay, let's take this on a separate line so it would be more readable. So what I want to say is I'm going to say IIF, and then I'm going to open my bracket. Okay, let's take this on a different line so it wouldn't be confusing for you. I'm going to say IIF, I dot invoice date between 0 01 0 01 2019 and 12 31 2019 then return the value of my invoice else return zero okay and then i'm going to remove this so this is how we read it so i'm summing inside my sum statement i will say iif invoice date between this date and this date then getting the invoice uh, total else don't sum anything for me i'm sorry this should have been 2000, uh, 2020 and then the last year should be uh, 2019. So let's copy this, paste it over here, and then change this to 2019. And then name this as last year. Okay, so let's run the statement now. You can see like this gave me the customer uh, sales this year versus the last year. So the case one works very similar to IIF, only the IIF is very limited. So you can have only like if then else. You cannot have, if I go back to my case statement, you can have not have multiple if then. So it makes it really readable if you're using it for uh, limited uh, conditions, like what I have over here. Of course, this thing could have been written in, a, uh, in an easier way, like I could have said, like where date, part, then I say year. Oh. Year, and then I would say invoice date. is equal to 2020. That would have give us the same result, right? And it makes the statement shorter and you can easily read it as well. Okay, so hopefully that explains the differences between the uh, case when and the IIF and when to use them. Uh, thanks for watching. Please remember to subscribe to my channel and talk to you on the next video. Thank you, bye.